Now, amid cross the voting fears and resort politics, Congress won three out of four Rajya Sabha seats in the state of Karnataka. Ajay Makan, Nasser Hussain, and GC Chandrasekhar have all been elected to the Rajya Sabha. BJP nominee Narayansa Bhanage also won, but the party's joint candidate with JDS, multi millionaire and real estate tycoon Dr. Kupendra Reddy, lost by nine votes. The big Rajya Sabha battle ahead of 2024 polls. BJP and Congress locking horns over four Rajya Sabha seats in Karnataka. Let them keep their MLS intact. The class voting possible only in BJP. Amid fears of cross-voting by Congress MLAs and a last-minute joint candidate put up by BJP and JDS, all three Congress candidates, Ajay Makan, Nasir Hussain and GC Chandrasekhar won. So all of them had the required quota of 4,500 points which they have to get. So they have got the required quota and all of them have been elected at once without any second round. So I would like to thank all my voters from my chief minister to all my legislators who worked very hard. Meanwhile, there was cross-voting reported from the BJP. Rebel BJP MLA Soma Sekra revealed that he voted as per conscience. Atma Sakshi Agi Mata Aki Dene Yava Lead Vige Torshbe Kunta Kanta Dite Aur Ge Na Nen Mata Aki Dene Tadna Aur Ge Torshbe Dite BJP candidate Narayan Sabhandage also secured a win. But the joint candidate it fielded with JDS, multi-millionaire real estate tycoon Dr. Kupendra Reddy lost. Every day they are expressing that more than 12 to 13 MLAs of JDS, they are with Congress. They are ready to join Congress. For that reason only, to show our strength intact, we have put the candidate. Cross voting fears, resort politics, and last minute twists ended in a predictable result in Karnataka. TK has stated that this is a big boost for the Lok Sabha polls, and it has remained to be seen what the BJP's mood is going to be like in the run up to Lok Sabha polls, given the fact that two of their MLAs withdrew in the last minute. With camera person Madhu Anagakeshiv reporting for India Today from Bangalore.